Hello! Today I'll show you how to bring to life that MyCat battery from Power Tools. I got this Bosch drill for a 5 euros. This one is really old, over 16 years old. It have only one speed and runs on 9.6 volts MyCat battery. When I bought it, I know that battery is dead. The reason why I bought it, uh, first of all, I want to try to revive this MyCat battery by using few tricks. And the second, if the magic won't work, I'll convert this Nikad battery to lithium-ion battery by using 18650 cells. As I said before, battery was completely flat. Previous owner used this drill in 3 years ago, so there is nothing strange about battery state. I'll try to charge it with a regular Bosch drill charger, but with no success. Charger shows that it's charging up, but after 3 hours sitting on charge, battery voltage was around 0.1 volt. Micad batteries often dies in such a way that they won't take a charge and have zero voltage. This usually means they are shorted out by crystal dendrite growth inside Micad cells. There is a method to bring them back to life by zapping those shorted crystal dendrites away with too much current and voltage. For that, I'll use two good Bosch drill batteries connected in series for a total 27 volts. Wired up a circuit with solid wire by bending wire ends as a clips. Positive to positive and negative side was left open to make few quick taps and zap shorter crystals away. After zapping, checked voltage. It shows around 0.3 volts and dropping down. Sometimes it's need to repeat procedure few times. Anyway, left battery for a rest for few minutes. After that, put on a regular charger and left overnight. Next day charger shows that battery was fully charged and had 9.8 volts. But when I tried to run on a drill, drill worked for about 5 seconds and then died again. Time for another trick. I took my IMAX B6 LiPo charger which is able to charge NICAD batteries too. Set it to charge battery with 1 amp of current and after that to discharge with 0.5 amps of load. It is possible to set bottom discharge voltage when discharge procedure must stop, but I left it in auto mode. This charger is great, because it have a function to set numbers of cycles, how many times it's need to repeat the procedure. I set it to 5 times. At this moment battery is fully charged. In totally this battery was charged and discharged 9 times. Here is the results. It is clearly visible that with each cycle battery is able to take more of charge and show bigger capacity at discharge test. Battery was fully charged and had 9.8 volts. Regarding battery part number, I found that brand new it had 1.5 amp hours of capacity. So my god, 900 mAh hours is really good result. Here is a quick test with 3, 5 and 7 cm wood screws. Once again, IMAX B6 saves the day. Anyway, 
900 mAh of capacity isn't much. So soon I'll convert this NICAD battery to lithium ion battery by using 18650 cells. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.